Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the third installment of Chalaki News, where we discuss everything from, from celebrity foolishness to serious topics um, to what your mama did down the street and somebody just so happened to put it on Facebook, just whatever. Whatever we want to talk about is what we're talking about. All right. Now, on today's news, um, I don't really have any serious topics today. It's pretty much all just um, entertainment. So, let's just jump right in. New York is back in the motherfucking house. Y'all know New York. Tiffany Pollard. Yes, New York. New York. Flavor of love. All that. Well, um, according to VH1.com, New York could possibly be back on TV. We love New York, right? She has been known as the first, the original, you know, reality star, so to speak. And um, so I'm just going to read to you what it said. It says, um, some have said Tiffany New York Pollard is the OG responsible for the turn up in reality TV from back in her days of, on Flavor of Love and later on her own series, I Love New York. I agree. New York has been living that Hollywood life child, making appearances on various TV shows, starting her own makeup line, and of course, always keeping it 100% real. I'm eating my steak, and I love it. You know, delicious, I wish you an ounce of luck. You know, go home, be a single mother, raise your daughter, and hopefully your life ends up okay. If not, too damn bad. A mess. VH1.com was pick a book, pick a wall, pick a wall. Pick a wall. VH1.com <laughs> was on a mission to find our favorite lady now. And when we did, and when we found out New York was still looking for Mr. Wright, with her signature look and her remarkable energy, we hit the streets um, of her namesake to see if they could find a perfect match for her. Interesting. I'm just going to play you a little bit of it. I'm with Tiffany New York Pollard. She's still looking for love, and we're gonna see if we can find her Mr. Wright today here in Times Square. Damien, help me. I'm disclosing like this. I need to have some flex. It's tripping, y'all. Anyway, it's tripping for some reason. I don't feel like refreshing the page and all that. All right, but anyway, the link will be in the bottom if y'all want to um, see it. And actually, at the bottom, it has a poll. Make sure you guys vote on whether or not you would like to see New York back on television. And as of right now, according to the fans, it is um, the poll for yes is called Yes, Honey. And um, no, nah, it says no nah, seems like old times. 77.12% says that they would love to see New York back on TV with our own show or doing something, and 22.88% says no. So, what do y'all think? Moving right on a long child. So, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Animated Medea becomes a cartoon and shows tough love. Medea, everybody's favorite grandmother, is becoming a cartoon character. Isn't that something? How awesome. It says, um, soon to be father Tyler Perry definitely has some tricks up his sleeve. Everyone's hilarious gun toting grandmother Medea has become a cartoon character. Tyler Perry Tyler Perry's Medea's Tough Love will bring all of your characters together, including Medea, Uncle Joe, and Aunt Bam, and will feature the voices of Perry, Cassie Davis, Ronald Watts, and William Bootsy Collins. Bootsy Collins. Um the premise of this particular um, scene that they're showing us, it says, after a hilarious run-in with the law, Medea is sentenced to community service, determined to do good for the hood. Medea enlists Aunt Bam and Uncle Joe to try and save the Mom's Mabley Youth Center from being shut down. With her irresistible sass and wisdom, Medea rallies the local kids to make a stand and proves that behind her tough exterior is a whole lot of love. Would y'all watch that show? That link will be in the bottom below. Just to let y'all know, um, because I feel like I say this a lot, just to let y'all know, um, everything that I talk about, all the links will be in the bottom. 
in, in the comment section below so that you guys can check it out, you know, on your own time. Um, unless I tell you otherwise. So, yeah, would y'all watch a um, Medea cartoon? I'll probably watch it. Hell, I ain't tripping. It is what it is. Right, moving on to the next story. Oh, no. Foxnews.com says, Honey Boo Boo canceled after Mama June accused for dating a sex offender. What the hell? Let's get the juice. Here we go. For Fox 411. TLC is reportedly given Here Comes Honey Boo Boo the boot. After a report surfaced on Thursday claiming that June Shannon, aka Mama June, was dating a convicted child molester. The network told TMZ, quote, supporting the health and welfare of these remarkable children is our only priority. TLC is faithfully committed to the children's ongoing comfort and well-being. Shannon, who's the mother to the show's star nine-year-old Alana Thompson, has denied that she was dating Mark McDaniel, a registered sex offender. TLC did not immediately return Fox 411's request for comment. For updates on this breaking story, follow Fox 411 on Twitter and join our conversation with the hashtag Fox 411. Ciao, bye. Mama June done dropped their weight and found that pussy. That's what happened. Child, and apparently her and Sugar Bear, her husband ain't together no more because I believe that um, Sugar Bear was online doing some online dating and she found out about it and divorced his ass just that quick. Poor little Sugar Bear. Who really wants Sugar Bear? I don't even think he got all his teeth. Poor Honey Boo Boo. I guess we gonna red net neckonize. Poor thing, y'all. If y'all just heard that beep and it's just Facebook, I have it open for a reason, boots. But oh my gosh. That's so tragic. This is a lot to read. Um, so, like, the link will be in the bottom, y'all, because it's a lot, bitch. She ain't a sex offender, but did she know? Lord, her mercy. McDaniel, who is in his early 50s, was convicted on May 20th, 2004, of aggravated child molestation. He registered as a sex offender in March 2014. Shannon wrote in a Facebook post on Thursday that she dated and dumped McDaniel 10 years ago. I would have not ever put my kids in danger, she said. Let's see. Hi, hello. We just want to come straight to you. Um, a lot of people's asked to get a comment from me about this current situation with the show. Um... Just got a phone call this morning from TLC, and as of right now, um, there will no be no more production of the show. Um, you know, the statement of me dating a sex offender is totally untrue. Um, Pumpkin has openly said that I did not, I did not date him, and also his son. I would not ever, ever, ever put my my kids in danger um i love my kids too much that is my past i have not seen that person in 10 years and don't seem to want to see that person um mm -hmm. we just want to thank from the bottom of our hearts the support that we've had from our fans since may 2012 um that we're going to support the love the careness um that y'all fans have like showed us um this experience has been awesome to us um the girls have been able to do things that they would not normally have to do but we just want to thank y'all from the bottom of our heart um we are still going to do our christmas display um if y'all choose to want to come out and meet the family um still um to support our community we're also going to keep updated throughout what's going on with our life um and everything this is the truth video um me and Shuba really have broke up, but we are friends, and we have stayed civil. Um, we're better off friends than we were a couple. We actually have came to notice that um, things happen for a reason in life, and you know you live and learn, and then 
be able to do it. Um, the fan page has stayed quiet for a while because TLC has kind of told us to hush hush. Um, but that is pretty much what's going on. We will update later on, but we just wanted to let y'all know from the bottom of our hearts that we actually love y'all and we do care about y'all and every fan out there that has ever, ever, ever done anything and supported us and took up for us and been there through all of our ups and our downs. We greatly, Wrap it greatly, up. greatly appreciate every one of y'all and for the bottom of our heart we want to let y'all know that thanks and have a great day and hopefully this answers some of these questions if you have any more questions you can um post it down below or um you're more than welcome to email us and we will answer any questions that you have thanks and have a great day interesting she sounds believable hmm what do y'all think about that whole story? Honey boo boo them. Poor things. Those people don't need never need to break up because it's just it's just not good. Hurts my spirit, red nickel nose. So the rapper of the game moving on. So the rapper of the game allegedly has a new girlfriend. It's some big booty red bone. Says the game is reportedly has a new boo, a young boo, Instagram sensation india love is allegedly seeing the compton rapper india love 18 has been posting the game's albums and buying them in bulk she's the only one sure you can just blow this off as a girl just being a game fan but when the game returns a favor on instagram it makes people suspect they're being intimate hmm yeah he's probably sleeping with her y'all know the game has um a little girl by uh i think she he has a little girl and a little boy by tiffany she's a little older than him she's like about 40 and he's probably i think he's 34 or something like that and she has a um two kids by him and they you know they had that go marry in the game that show marry in the game excuse me on vh1 um i don't think it comes on anymore i watched it a little bit first season she's a trip but he's a trip too you know, you don't know about to you stay with him. But, you know, if he's with this young girl, then, hey. But um, I heard from someone else that she's not 18, she's 25. So that makes it a little better, I guess. But whatever, it's that season. Mm. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, according to TMZ, Iggy Azalea... Says, I would never make a song with Snoop Dogg. Let's play the video. Yo, what up, Iggs? How you She's actually a sweet girl. Iggy's a very pretty woman. She's quite a pretty girl. Very, very pretty. Poor Iggy. Um, if y'all don't know, Snoop and Iggy um have been exchanging words, darling. Um a Snoop said something about Iggy. Um, and she took offense to it and she's been going off on Um Things happen for a reason. <laughs> but I need to hear sweat box again. Anyway, um, some things have been happening between Snoop and Iggy. Snoop said something about Iggy. She got offended, and she's been going crazy on Twitter. Um, 
when Snoop was on the Hip Hop Awards, he dressed up as a white guy. And um, she was making fun of that, saying he looked like an old white woman and some shit. And just saying a lot of things about Snoop. And, um, and of course, Snoop is an OG and grown as fuck. And, you know, he was just probably laughing that off. And probably getting a rise out of the fact that he was um, getting to this girl. Um, but apparently, T.I. met with Snoop and they squashed the beef. I guess T.I. gave him... Um, pretty much enough weed for like five years and you know Snoop was just like fuck it I'm gonna leave it alone but he apologized um he said this is gonna be no more war or whatever I tried to find the video but I couldn't find it um a lot of people becomes at Iggy Iggs um um uh, saying she's not really a good rapper she don't write her own songs and shit and um she probably don't but look everybody gets help Everybody needs help, all right? Um, like, goes back to, to the whole thing of Nikki saying that, you know, she writes her own songs or whatever. Um, sweetheart, what what was the point in saying that? I know that's old, but I just felt it just, just bringing up memories. What was the point in saying that, Nikki, if you're not intimidated or oppressed by somebody? Like, for real. You won the award. You won Best Female Hip Hop Artist. You've been winning it for, like, four or five years in a row. Now you coming at Iggy because you got a little competition. Get over yourself. Will she be more um, favored and get a little bit more opportunities in certain things? Yeah. Because she's Caucasian. Let's call a thing a thing. Actually, she's Australian because she's white. So, you know, yeah. Do I think that she's a fake rapper and putting on this front, you know, this whole hood rat accent? Um... <laughs> yeah <laughs> but but i'm not mad at her though that's the difference for me i mean get your money bitch i mean she was hustling she's been hustling for a while and if you know her story um apparently she left home when she was like 14 or 15 for the states and never came back and her parents were just like okay bitch stay over there we want you there anyway they sent her um a pack of oodles and noodles and skittles every month and was like good luck and so you know she kind of she's been working hard and made a name for herself out here I'm sure she had to, you know, do a thing to get in. Everybody has to do something to get in. You know, that's allegedly, by the way. That everybody has to do something. I'm not saying the girl is not talented. I think she's talented. But um, everybody's just not blessed to have writing skills. It's kind of like how some people can dance but can't sing. You just can't you know, everybody can't do everything. You know, everybody has their own talent. You know, what is Iggy's talent? I'm going to let y'all comment and tell me. All right? But we're going to move on to the next story. <laughs> um, Let's go. Is this the last story that I have for you? Lovely, lovely people. No. It is actually the next to the last story. Um, all right. Okay, y'all know the show Blood, Sweat, and Heels. It's on Bravo. And um, it was, they just had a second season, I believe, which was months and months ago. But um, apparently, um, they're filming for their new season, which is the third season, I'm assuming. Maybe it's the second season, whatever. But anyway, it stars um, Melissa Ford, which is the most famous video vixen ever, probably, next to Superhead. But anyway, here's a story on it on her, on Melissa Ford, and she got into it with another cast member. Her name is uh, Geneva. All right, um, Geneva Thomas. All right, it says, Blood, Sweat, and Heels star Melissa Ford was back in the hospital. She's back. She she didn't recover on Thursday for injuries she sustained on a brawl with castmate Geneva earlier this week. The star was initially treated with three stitches after being hit over the head with a vodka bottle at a party in Manhattan on Tuesday. But the, according to the YBF, um, reports found reports saw that Ford sought further treatment yesterday at Lenox Hill Hospital for more severe injuries. Apparently, Melissa's injuries were more severe than the initial three stitches she received after Geneva allegedly hit her in the head with a vodka bottle at a boat party in Manhattan. Damn. She tried to take that bitch out permanently. 
she was being taken back to the hospital today because of her head injuries. We've also learned that she can't walk due to severe gashes under her feet from bro broken glass during the brawl. And based on the pics we nabbed of her hopping up on crutches today um, outside of the hospital, her right foot looks quite injured. We're told that thanks to all the trauma and drama, she hasn't slept since the incident. Thomas was arrested Tuesday night and charged with two counts of felony assault. Damn! Mm. Child, goodbye. This is on Facebook, y'all, so I can't really show y'all this. I don't have my phone out. Um, for this particular story, I just ran across it a few seconds ago and thought that I would talk about it because it sounds very interesting. But um, I'm sure you can just Google it. Um, Blood, Sweat, and Heal stars Melissa Ford and Geneva Thomas brawl, and you'll see the pictures. But, but Melissa's down. She won't be able to stand in no fucking um, heels in a while, bitch. It's a mess. No, well, actually, I found... A um, video by TMZ, Bravo star Geneva Thomas arrested for violent event. Yeah, so I will. So I will post that link. Look at God. You see how God just popped things up in your life. I love it. God did that. God always do it. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Poor Melissa Ford. I hope she recovers. And um, Geneva, why the hell did you do that? What was it? Was it jealousy? Could be. What's her ass? Is, is it, are you mad because her ass bigger than yours? And it's real. Hmm. Just a mess. Let's see if I can actually play a little video of it. This is TM TMZ, so. Mm, trying not to make this video too long, y'all. Whenever the hell the page loads. Okay, let's see a little bit. Please play, Lord. Enjoy the music. Do, 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 the girls are classy and trashy at the same time um we're gonna move on from that story i found the link so it'll be in the bottom what is next what is next child this next story is the last story and it is by blackmediascoop.com and the title of it is get maury on the phone omarion clears up baby daddy rumors all right um Apparently, um, Amarion has been having, um, issues, um, with whether or not April has been cheating because y'all, as y'all know, they, she just had the son and apparently, um, people are questioning whether Amarion is actually the father because the baby do look kind of biracial or something. The baby do look Mexican indeed. And apparently April has been Mexican, have been Mexican 
has been messing with the Mexican guy once upon a time. Once upon a time. Child, a mess. All right, he posted an Instagram pic with like the little baby middle finger up or whatever. And um, he says, I told Mega, son, they think someone else is your dad. He said, LOL, Maury said you are the father. All right, it says, let's look back. Word on the street is April and Amarion seems to have a very good relationship to the eye. But Amarion's mom has been starting some drama. According to sources, Amarion's mom has been hinting around that the baby looks biracial which I agree. She also mentions that April's ex-boyfriend is Mexican. The baby's hair is, is bone straight. Like the baby's look, the baby looks like Asian or something, but I know that April is um not fully black. And you know, the baby don't necessarily have to look like the daddy or the mama for that matter. Um, a source claims that after months of mama split spitting the hate into Omarion's ear, he started having second thoughts about paternity. The source says Omarion asked for a DNA test and April was offended. She started crying and carrying on. The insider continued. After April calmed down, Omarion asked again and she said no. Mm. So the sources claim Omarion ended up dumping April. Oh, and did we mention that all of this was caught on camera and will be shown later this season on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? Child. This could all just be some bullshit. I would have believed it if they wouldn't have said that. Just craziness. I can't with these nosy ass mothers. I don't know. Do y'all believe this story? I'm just looking at the baby. He don't look... <clears throat> A baby's hair is laid. I don't know. But all younger babies have, quote unquote, good hair, you know, when it comes to the black community. Mm. I don't know. Oh, also, Kamora Lee Simmons is fucking pregnant with her fourth child, her old ass. She go out and get stitched up and then get pregnant again. And um, uh, she, this is a, and she has a white baby daddy. He's rich, of course. And child, come on, United Colors, get them Kamora. She gave niggas a shot, and they weren't working her. Oh, that's all I got for y'all. I've kept y'all long enough. I'm Mr. Chalaki. I'm Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me. I am at It's King's World on Twitter, and I'm Chess King here on Facebook. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, give me your thoughts on Chalaki news, and. Just everything, you know. If you got some stories you maybe want me to talk about, check into it, darling. Yes. Thank you so much. This is Chalaki News number three. <sighs> the fuckery.